All right, so last episode, we made our daring escape. If you want to call it that. More of a bumble of wrong turns, but we finally made it to the sewer, and we're heading down and getting ready to escape, and we were just called by Eva to tell us that our escape plan is no longer going to be the same setup as it was prior. We have to change our plans because they are after us, and they know, which we know because, I mean, I set up all the alarms. Um, so we're going to go ahead and move forward. Go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and leave a comment. I think this chapter is going to get a little bit weird, but that's okay. So let's keep going down. All right, we got some life meds. That's always good. I have a little bit of a headache, but I will survive. Um, I got a raise, or I'm getting a raise. Work. Um, I'm a little disappointed at the amount, but I guess it's better than nothing. Okay, so is this where we're going? Uh, gosh, my head hurts. I can't see. Do I have something that lights things up? Or am I just at a dead end? I feel like I'm at a dead end. Alright, so, yeah, that looks like there's nothing there. Alright, so that's not the right way, hey. Let's see, in the water. I'm gonna go up there, let's see. I wish it would stop telling me east and north and west. Just tell me left or right. So let's go and check this one first. stuff in here. There's a stipic. Some bullets. Some noodles. to get weird.
I've been waiting for this. Nobody interfere. This is where it ends. Is it though? So the length of this next section really is based on how many people you killed in the game. <coughs> I've only killed a couple. Probably shouldn't so many, but I killed a couple. Okay, so the fastest way through this fight is to die. But that's not what we're gonna do. Because if you can get to all the way to the end, you get a costume, the spirit uniform, which prevents the bad guys from hearing you move. Apparently it's not perfect, but yeah, kind of the concept. There's a lot of dead animals. And it also gives you back stamina when you choke people out. Don't let the dead spirits touch you, they do do a little bit of damage. But the more people you kill here, the longer this section is. Um, this is... I'm probably going to end it after this fight. Or the cutscene that comes, I think the cutscene that comes after this. I've killed. We get to the 
bosses, then we know we didn't kill a lot. So. so that's all we killed. I didn't technically kill you, bro. You killed yourself. You blew up. So you kill everyone and keep killing people. This could be over an hour long. Whoa. I really stopped killing people after that. Mostly they're putting people to sleep. Oh, what am I talking about? I blew up those helicopters and killed them. Always get the cobra because they die. It's not what I wanted to do. Uh, okay, so let me see, can I do this? Back up. 
can't swim forward. I wasn't supposed to hit continue. Oh. Why are you shooting so much? Let me make sure I didn't grab it. I can't see my camouflage. So at the end, he's supposed to hover. And if you touch the thing he's hovering on, you should get the costume. I'm not sure why. I hate getting hit by that thing.
right, so that was a skeleton. So, what you're supposed to do... And that's it. Yes, sir. Get it out. Are you all right? That was a close call. It was. What the hell happened to me? You were halfway drowned at the bottom of the river. Almost crossed over to the other side. Other side? So that really was. Something on your mind, Snake? Major, was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? Yes, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the boss. What kind of man was he? The Sorrow was a man with, well, special powers. He had ESP, which was the subject of extensive research in the Soviet Union at the time. He was especially gifted as a medium. A medium? Someone who can communicate with the spirit world and evoke the spirits of the dead. In other words, he could talk to ghosts. They say he could find out what was going on in a battle by talking to dead soldiers. What about him and the boss? What was the story between them? I don't know the details. Why don't we ask Sigin? Yo! I finished checking up on this Sorrow guy a while ago. Thought you guys already knew, though. Knew what? That he's dead. He's been dead for two years now. Died two years ago? At Selino Yarsk. You know, those cliffs you were at. And the boss is the one who did him in. The boss? Yep. Two years ago, the boss was sent by the CIA on a secret mission to Selino Yarsk. That's when she met the Sorrow, who'd gone back to the Soviet Union after the Cobras broke up at the end of the war. Except this time, they were enemies. And then what? The boss killed the Sorrow herself and accomplished her mission. At least, that's what the records say. So, he was never there in the first place. He just couldn't let go of the boss. You okay, Snake? Yeah, I'm fine. It looks like it's not time for me to die yet. I sure hope not. Otherwise, the whole mission is shot. We're counting on you, pal. Roger that. Eva? Snake, you didn't call. I was worried. Are you all right? No. Yeah, I took a pretty freaky detour. What are you talking about? Nothing. Forget it. Let's just say I'm back. Good. But how did you escape from the sewers? I jumped into the river. From all the way up there? You're out of control. Yeah, I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. Great. That's perfect. What do you mean, that's perfect? I mean, if you ended up in the river, then I know a good spot nearby. Let's meet up there. Where is it? Keep going upstream until you get to a waterfall. A waterfall, huh? Right. Behind that waterfall, there's a cave. We'll meet in there. The cave behind the waterfall upstream. Got it. See you there. Okay, so we got to check before we end this. Okay, so we've been here before. 
Oh, I can't check it yet. Um. All right, so this is where we're gonna go ahead and end it. Um. So until next time, guys. Adios, amigos. That was kind of weird, but let's let's keep going.